Championship in China. Please give a hand, Kevin Rock. This young girl has already qualified for the World Youth Championship in China this month. Martha. So, what are your prospects? How well do you think you'll do in China? China. Last year, I'll be first. Before racing, tell me, Jane Jane, racing, no, sir. And I ran Kinney, and I'm not that fourth. And I, Jamie, you know, on the time you go to no, no, your first. In the early days, I started games. Now, I'm in the top, and in a chink, I crank up. Gary leading at the moment. This is on her shoulder. You do 150. I'm a shana, a more crab, my makeup, a crab, you want to order come. And what happened, I'm starting to say, you should do from 150. But when you be shaming, when we get down the corner, one of them, bear one fifty meters, and we get down between one, I mean, when we need to get to the other side, we can. It's trying to close, but it's too late. This out has taken the gold medal. I think the Gary. Five kilometers away from Bogoso, the capital town of the Pristia Huni Valley District on the west coast of Ghana, lies near Aboy, the birthplace of 17-year-old Martha Bisa, Ghana's first Olympic gold medal winner. Near Aboy is a small isolated village enclosed by a thick forest with a population of about 600. Those that live here depend primarily on farming cash crops like cocoa and tubers for their livelihood. Martha learned to walk a bit earlier than is typical. Even as a child, she did everything fast. Being the first of seven children, Martha was given the responsibility to be an example to her younger siblings and not to follow the trend of teen mothers in her village. But it was her acceptance of this responsibility that fueled Martha's drive to get to where she is today. <laughs> na owo enije ewo kwa bi so kwa ho keka ewade nyina mu akwadai wo ka so ngo ha na okọ even do kura no so limpo ha wonka de ope bi ana oye na kura no ye ye ko ye ba pack so na se ye training na utumi hu se da ti obenya bibi wo e man me o de bibi be ba man mu na di suan so na ashase no na nye na mum from the very day I met Martha, she has been somebody who never liked defeat, who never complained much. When I say much, that doesn't mean she doesn't complain at all. Sometimes she complains about training, she tells me I'm tired, I'm doing this. But she never complained much when it's time for training. And she's somebody who is strong, who is determined. She will not wait for a coach to come and tell her this because she knew what she is doing. A typical Olympic gold medalist would probably be on a nationwide thank you tour, meeting dignitaries and celebrities and posing only for photo opportunities. The fact that this is Ghana's first gold medal makes it all the more expected, but not Martha Bisa. She prefers her family and her rural village to the bright light and excitement of the city. The same discipline and hard work Martha displays on the track is seen in her attitude towards household chores. Even after the gold medal, she remains as humble as ever. She wakes up at 4 a.m., about two hours before the sun rises. She sweeps the compound and completes whatever other morning chores her parents have for her. Then she warms up for her morning run. Around 5 a.m. each morning, she leads a group of boys and girls for a run through the village. This run isn't something new since mother brought home gold. In newer boy, the children may not have the resources, but their dreams are in no short supply. And when you see them run in the early dawn line, you believe, as they do, that if they just keep running, they will eventually reach their dreams, the same way that mother did in China. <laughs> Rabone more day. Ya bread, yet you could do a banji. There was a banji, I don't want a can of gravangino, a bell ball, and son of what two, what you could draw, and son of one year's campo, 
wodi atopense ya makoda no modi ako school in new boy most of the girls either drop out of school or are unable to further the education because they end up pregnant oh there a place like the teenage pregnancy, you know. I think boy, I'm done doing this year. I want the teenage pregnancy, you know, because of this uh, uh, social year on the hand, you know, my teenage pregnancy. But when I'm done, part of the day, he was able to see through. Now, what my demand? The the behavior, ma, the way that the parents, you know, say, he be a shabby ma, other parents, you know. Adiza is a friend and former classmate of Martha. She is an example of this worrying trend in teenage pregnancy. I'm my like <laughs> Martha Bisa isn't just an athlete, she's also very religious. She plays many roles in her church and even sings. Martha's career as an athlete began to take shape when she got to senior high school. She joined a number of young athletes who train regularly and participate at district and regional levels. We are here in Adumai Sports Complex. This is where we have our training every day. This is where Martha started her training. Looking at our pitch, you can see that if Martha had not been a hardworking athlete, she wouldn't have gotten to this stage. The pitch is very rough, but with all, Martha was able to put up her best and got to this stage. I saw the potentials in the girl, so I told the sports master and her coach that I would do everything to help the girl to achieve her goals. Martha has become a role model for the boys and girls in her high school. When Martha was here, she was the best runner in the Dumai Senior High School, especially when we went to the stadium for our Intaku and Sizo. And she used to tell us that we should pray in everything that we will do, and we should respect everybody, we should obey everybody, and we should do everything much as possible, as she always used to do. Uh, what makes her stand out as one of the younger athletes it's her poise to succeed. She, she works hard. She stays focused. And, you know, she, she stays true to her word. When she tells you, I'm going to do this, she works hard to get there. Her victory in China wasn't just a victory for herself, but for everyone around her. They are all exceedingly proud of Martha and feel like they had a hand in her success. So when the news came to us that Martha has won the gold medal, actually the whole school was in play. Everybody was excited from the headmaster to the lowest person. We were all jubilating. Just and no Ghanaian has ever done that before in the history of Ghana. So this is a plus to Martha, a plus to me as a coach. Martha has a bright future ahead of her. 
but raw natural talent alone will not win her gold in Rio. To do that, she will need serious support behind her. I believe for what she has achieved from China, I don't think we are going to end it there. The future is what we need for her to continue in the athletics, run and run well, so that the world will continue to know what Martha is and what Martha can do. We will have to launch a uh, Martha 2016 Olympic bid to uh, earn support for her. But aside from just the coaching, she will need so many things like the medical side, psychological, chiropractor, nutritionist, and all that just to make it to the next level. But for now, she has a great future. She's focused, uh, and I think she's going to make it. She's going to make Ghana proud. 4.9, smashing her lifetime best. Without any shadow of a doubt, that was world class. And if someone can tidy up that technique, she will be a force to be reckoned with when she becomes a senior. You would think after an Olympic gold medal, the schools will be lining up to give Martha a scholarship. But like the races that Martha is used to running, in life, there are no guarantees. The one thing that is for certain is that Martha looks towards her future with the same quiet confidence that she looked towards the Olympics in China. Olympic Games in 2016. I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I